We have to follow world changes and deal with them. Undoubtedly, we have to bring back those budgets for R&D systems to a worthy level that will enable Israel to compete with the world. Today, more than ever, the industry and the academe need each other in order to survive and succeed. And perhaps most importantly, and this can be, we can start with this tomorrow morning, the government should quickly lead to a significant increase in the number of students who study uh, uh, additional math and science in the high school. Otherwise, we'll need migrant workers even for these uh, topics. So I'd like to introduce a subject that's called National Research Infrastructure, and uh, this issue called National Research Infrastructure, this has received, um, this has been accelerated uh, all over the world in the U.S., in Europe, and in Japan, and other countries, and we're talking about national research infrastructure. We are referring to a facility or perhaps a decentralized structure, but the recommendation is that we should apply a strategic program. We need to know where we're heading, what we want to do, and what we truly, where we want to truly focus and put our uh, budgets. And the second issue is the budget. We need a budget of 100 million shekels, and that's similar to the existing levels but we want this to be a governmental budget that would back up the strategic plan that I hope will be approved. There's a very stark dissonance, an inherent dissonance, in a discussion on matters of, res of science and development between the need for development and the need for freedom. These uh, two needs do not clash, but this dissonance does exist throughout the stages. My attempt here is to try and bring up uh, this basic problem of the tension which exists between the different fields in the system and the need to make sure that there's an entity in the state of Israel that would provide a bird's eye view and that regretfully right now its work is being undermined. Thank